How's it going, everybody? It's Father Tom and C. I received, uh, <clears throat> I received a request about uh, a request on how to put the bipod back here. And of course, you know, guys. And if y'all wondering what this is, uh, I had this on uh, my bolt action, the scope on my bolt action 6.5 Creedmoor when I went hunting. I was walking through some really thick brush at night, and it just had the uh, scope covered with the elastic strings that went over it and. Evidently, uh, when I had it shouldered, uh, some of the twigs or something grabbed it and pulled it off, so I don't have the scope cover, so I just threw me some old socks over the scope to protect it, the lens, but that's why I got them on that. Uh, I might get me some scope covers later for it. I don't know. That works good, so I'm not really concerned about it. I might just get me one of them neoprene ones that stretches over it, but... Uh, this is the uh, part that goes over your tank guys and if you see this is what your uh, sling stud that goes right there tightens into because it goes like that and then your sling stud goes up to this part and then it tightens up against this one well I stuck a bigger tank on mine and a different regulator uh, like I said before, this is a 2200 PSI regulator. It's a 4500 PSI from the tank. Um, move this before I knock it over. But yeah, guys, it's not hard at all. Um, let me take you off the tripod here for a second so you can see. This is how it sits. When this, uh, when the tripod, I mean the bipod, not tripod, bipod, is uh, folded up, you can still see it sits up some, and uh, I've been thinking about taking these springs off because if you take the springs off, they're more you can more adjust them to go anywhere in between if you want. But uh, this is just a regular tripod. Uh, let me turn this over here You see this is just a regular tripod That goes on to a regular either a sling stud or Your uh, Bipod stud they got there And you see that that's the original uh, sling stud that come with it all I did was I don't know if you can see that up in there I just took a washer and a lock nut and put it on this and tighten it back down and guys this is what I got I got it from uh, Lowe's Hardware it's an M5.80 uh, and I got the nylon insert lock nuts is what I got so I wouldn't have to worry about it loosening up and Them are just some washers. I also bought but this These nuts you get six of them They were like I think a dollar something close to two dollars and I bought me some you know some washers to uh, Use underneath of them I Think I just used the the big one there because uh, it is kind of that stud once it goes up through there you ain't got a lot of thread on it once you put the washer and the nut on there so I just used that big flat one and one of the nuts and it works really good guys and you can see where the pressure gauge is sitting like I said after my other video that's where I filled it to 3100 and that's where it was after 23 shots and of course you just put that back on there it works pretty good guys it's not hard at all Thank you. 
tighter before. Uh, Got to work with this thing. Very good. But it uh, it works pretty good. That's how it looks when I got it. It's got it's got kind of a slant like that, but it works good because when you go, you know, to tilt it up or whatever. It doesn't work bad at all. And I mean, you can stick a metal plate in there or some, or, uh, some epoxy if you want to reinforce it even more. But to me, that, that works good the way it's at. Um, also, guys, uh, the magazines, if you don't, don't know, this is the one that come with it. It's marked with the uh, Umarex sign on the back. Of course, made in China. This is the one that come with my Benjamin Armada, or if you got a Benjamin uh, Marauder, same same magazine, they both work. So, so now I got, I got two magazines I can use on either one of them. So that worked out pretty good. But yeah guys, this is how you install the bipod. And that is the size right there you need for that stud is the M5-.80. The numbers I don't know um, but it worked it works really good um, if you just I mean if you still want to put a sling on it right there you could do it that way or I guess you could probably fit something over the tank here and put you a sling stud or a bipod stud and put it out there if you wanted to but I'm okay with that right there uh, this tank guys uh, the original tank, I think it took like 200 pumps from my hand pump to get that thing pumped up to 3,000 PSI. To pump this one up to 3,100 PSI, it was like over 400 pumps. So more than half, more than double of what the, uh, that 13 cubic inch. And this is a 450 cc. I know they got 500 cc tanks you can get. Um, and they got a little bit smaller ones if you want a little bit smaller ones uh, they got the carbon fiber ones if you got the carbon fiber ones and pumped it up to 4500 psi guys uh yeah you get a lot of shot counts even out of this even out of this uh 25 cal yeah i'm a when i do the uh 50 yard grouping uh, i'm gonna see you know how many shots we get down to it falls off the regulator uh i'm gonna say it's probably you know at least doubled of the stock but maybe more than that i'm not sure we'll see um but at 4500 psi if you had a carbon fiber tank you definitely definitely get more than double so and if you had a 22 cal you did this too uh, using this size bottle, yeah, you you get a, a lot of shots, guys. I don't know exactly how many, but you would get a lot. Um, so I just wanted to bring this because, you know, somebody asked me. Uh, in fact, let me get his name right quick. So I kind of give a shout out. Uh, it was Wannabe MGTOW. That was who asked about... Uh, doing the bipod there it's just the original sling stud so that's how you do it guys not a big issue it's pretty quick just take your trip to Lowe's hardware or anywhere else and get that size nut right there and yeah just tighten the stud back down in there and you can still use your stud all right guys I just wanted to make this so uh anybody needed to know and know how to do it that stuck a bigger tank on there and can't no longer use you know this shroud up there 
All right, guys, it's been Father Time NC. Uh, hope you have a good week. Uh, see you later. And guys, I want to show you right quick because I know that uh, when I bought my Air Force Condor, uh, the mounts they had that go on the bottom or you can put a scope on top or mount <clears throat> bipods or whatever, they're similar to this right here. This is a True Glow one. I got Academy Sports. This is around $20. Uh, I know a lot of them at uh, Pyramid Air and stuff, anything like this, a lot of them was charging around 40 bucks for these. And you can go get these at Academy Sports. This is where I got this one for, it was like 20 bucks. I think it was like $19.99 or something like that. It was like around $20. So this is what I got on my Umarex Gauntlet. And it just goes on this rail. I know some guys use the two-piece rings. So it goes here and back here. But I like this because it doesn't cover your where your magazine goes at all. And it's still it's nice and sturdy. It's not going anywhere. So I just wanted to bring that to you guys. If you're looking for a cheap mount, it's it's not that high. I mean, you can use this and then get some low rings. This is the rings that uh, I think it come with this scope. I can't remember, but I think they come with this scope. But you can get some low rod ones, and uh, yeah, to keep it down lower. But that's a good option. That way, you don't have to worry you can mounting kind of scope you want to that. And it, it, it's very solid. It's, it's not going anywhere. All right, guys, take it easy.